Hey there toy collector friends and Star Trek fans alike. Welcome back to the channel. This is the time traveling toy collector and this is the hero collector Eagle Moss um, Star Trek Starship model of subspace relay station 47 uh, all the way from the series Star Trek The Next Generation. This is a, another uh, of their special editions. Um, this one is less Starship and more Starbase. Um, it's a, as mentioned, it's a relay station. It's designed to um, effectively support subspace communications and faster than light communications uh, between Starfleet and its vessels. Um, and again, we have, and I'm going to now sort of try and bring it a bit closer to you, um, a really beautiful model here. I'm going to just lift it up out of the cradle so we can get some real close-up look here. I'll put it back in in a second. But you can see here, as the light catches it, uh, Hero Collector have done another sterling job with the, the level of detail, uh, the surface detail particularly, um, and the, the detail on the decals as well. Um, you can see here at the very top is the uh, is the Starfleet insignia, um, a la the next generation. Um, we can also see um, a subspace relay station forty seven there on the on sort of the main fuselage. We have these extended segments here, uh, which may be solar sails or part of the transmitter array. But I mean, you can see as the light catches it, this is this is a really really well um and really well put together model um i'm going to give it a little spin around so that you can see both sides here you can see how it extends um i, I have to be honest this wasn't one of the ships or one of the i call it a ship it actually possibly shouldn't do that because it is a it isn't really a starship it is more of a a space station type uh entry into the collection um, but I haven't really been a huge, let's get down after the full, the full whack there, uh, a huge um, collector of the star bases or the, or the associated stuff. As, as you know from my prior entries um, and previous videos, I'm much more interested, I'm just going to uh, pop that back into its own, into its cradle, um, and then I can give you the, an up and down with the camera. Oops. Um, but but I have to say when I when I saw this, um, it really did it really did fire up my imagination. And I thought, you know what, this is a really solid display piece, and it would complement some of the starships immeasurably. Now, you know, I, I only currently collect the XL range of the starships, um, which is you know fine. But what I've discovered is that when you put them on display with each other, for example, I'll zoom out a little bit more, uh, just so you can get a bit more of that in shot at any one time. Um, they Obviously the scaling is a, is a little bit of an issue. Um, minor issue, it's not a, it's by no means a, 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 an insanely crazy issue, just sort of center that up for you. But I do, you know, I, I do take it into consideration with, with, with when I'm, I'm purchasing display models because I think it's really really important um, from my point of view and from the aesthetic point of view to be able to have things that display well together um, and so if you were looking to collect this to put it in as part of your display then to be a hundred percent honest uh, as I always try to be um, it doesn't scale well with the XL starships that said it does kind of scale well with other uh, star base. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't. The, the beauty of the, the Hero Moss, the Hero Moss? The Hero Collector and Eagle Moss collections, I'll put my, my teeth back in, um, is that they do focus very much on the paneling and the detailing and the surface detail, um, as far as they can within the, within the nature of these, of these models. Because again, I am, and desire to be very, very clear uh, with you that this is um, 
a, there's a lot of detailing that you can see in, in these models that for the price point, I find very impressive. That said, I do look at um, some other people's comments and reviews and other people are not always unimpressed with the level of detailing or accuracy of color matching uh, or, or paint matching. And, and again, in the interest of fairness, in some of the Hero Collector models, uh, yeah, sometimes there is a bit of a paint bleed. Uh, sometimes the sizing and scaling of some of the decals isn't necessarily as accurate as perhaps a higher price point model could be. Um, so taking that into consideration, I do think that the Hero Collector Starship, Star Trek Starship range is, is a real winner and real value for money overall. Again, I limit that comment in the in the short term to uh, the Excel range and to the uh, a few of the special editions that I've collected. I haven't, uh, as some of you will be aware, collected any of the smaller range, the sort of the the um, more regular and routinely um, released starships, because the scale to me is is um, it goes so small that I think some of the detailing is inevitably going to suffer as a result of that. I think it's unavoidable. Um, and also, from a pure display and storage point of view, as much as I'm, you know, a part of me probably would love to collect them, I just know I don't currently have anywhere where I could do them justice. And I do hate the idea of things sitting uh, away in storage for prolonged periods of time, um, needlessly, uh, if, that can be, if that can be avoided. Because um, I think that that pains me a little bit as somebody that really appreciates appreciates these items. Um, so, so in terms of my scaling issues, um, and I kind of conf I've kind of confused my own message a bit. I, and I fully <laughs> I fully appreciate that, but I think it's because there's a, there's a real conflict at the heart of this situation, and that conflict is um, the quality of the detailing and the model making and the sculpting. Um, is reflective of the size of the model you have to work with. And, as boring though it sounds, it is a factor, the price point that they, they can actually market this at. So I think from, an, from a special edition point of view, as well as an XL point of view, um, the level of detailing is, to my mind, and I fully appreciate others may differ on this, uh, very strong based on the combination of factors of price point and scaling size. So therefore, to produce a relay station, which is probably, you know, not intended to be staffed by a huge number of people, unlike a Galaxy class Starship, for example, or a Constitution class or a Excelsior class Starship, um, it, it isn't designed for that. So we, if we wanted them in scale, it would be significantly smaller. And OK, that would mean it could scale well with the other uh, Excel Starships suddenly, but actually we're losing some of the quality along the way. So for me, I'm quite happy that there seems to be a bit of a disconnect in the scaling between the star bases and the starships. Now again, there are some star bases that you know your, your starships are actually able to dock into. There is no way we would have a reasonable size um, scaling of or space dock, for example, which I will um, have a video for um, at some point, if not already. Uh, there's no way that could scale, particularly not with the XL starships. So I think we have to accept and suspend our disbelief a little when we are collecting these to fully appreciate and understand that, you know what? There is going to be a, a disconnect in terms of the scaling, but we're not here for that. We're here for the quality of the sculpts, the quality of the mould, um, overall the quality of the, 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 the presentation of the, the colorization of the model. And for me, that's where my priority lasts, uh, lies rather. Is it a good display piece? For me, um, Spulse Space Relay Station 47 absolutely is. It really, really is. I mean, you can see from here, uh, the, the 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 level of detailing and the fragility the fragility um that is implied uh with some of this um these elements here so let me just sort of zoom in a bit for that sort of um 
jutty out portion of the of the relay station you can see there i mean it kind of screams a bit sort of <laughs> empire strikes back um and uh space 2001 uh or 2001 space odyssey rather type of of, of modeling in terms of of how that how that looks um and and, and i i'm really i'm really taken with it i think it's a really really beautiful piece um and i think the 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 level of detail i think if you look really carefully here um and i'll come down a little bit more again you can see just how detailed the quality of the paneling with there's little service windows and there's access portals docking ports um you know observation windows they're all in there they're all in there and it works for what it is it works for my money really really well so i i take my hat off as ever to eagle moss and hero collector for being able to produce this quality uh of of model that effectively gives us a very representative um impression of what this of what this um in essence enhanced satellite station because really it's you know it's there to support subspace and sublight communication um so yeah it is a it is a mini space station um that i think they've captured really really well um again i'll bring it a little bit more closer i'll take it out of the cradle to to, to save us smashing the cradle to pieces um but i'll change some of the angles so you can really see you can really see from the from the the bottom up what what this uh, what this station looks like, uh, and you, you see some of the yellow detailing, the, the filled in lighting, the sort of the blue grey metallic um, detailing that, that is a bit of a feature of this. Um, the relay itself, I mean, it's there's just so much detailing here. Um, I think I think it's a really beautiful, well-crafted piece. I mean, the, the bit on the top reminds me of a bit, a bit like a water tower, which I'm sure I'm sure it isn't supposed to be. Um, but you know, it's it's beautifully crafted. It's got very very effective metallic elements, um, and so as a display piece, I think it works. As you're probably getting the impression, really really well. You know, it's it it catches the light. Uh, it casts some really interesting and impressive uh, uh, shapes when you're when you're looking at having it for some photography al alongside some other sh uh, other ships. And again, as I've mentioned before, if you are doing model shots or or some toy photography, then you can you can achieve an awful lot with perspective and angles. Um, and of course, maybe occasionally having to fall back on Photoshop if that's your that's your thing um but ultimately uh i'm i'm i have to say if you're wondering whether or not the uh, relay station 47 um from star trek the next generation is worth having in your collection then i hope genuinely that uh what i've been able to show you of this has given you the insight you need to to make that decision because for me, I'm very, very glad that I purchased it. Um, it. Yeah, it doesn't scale brilliantly with the other Excel items I've got. It is a special edition rather than an Excel edition. But to be honest, I think that the um, the space stations, the space docks, etc., that we're going to get uh, and have already been released by Hero Collector, there's no way that can scale. So we have to be a bit accepting of that and a bit pragmatic and a bit realistic. Um, and again, for me, I love it. I, 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 it's very evocative um, and I, I use it for one of my pastimes which is uh, toy photography um, as well as having them on display uh, in my sort of designated Star Trek uh, Starships display cabinet um, some of which I'm now rotating round because I seem to have amassed quite a few more than I ever possibly intended um, but yeah I think it's a really great model I think the detailing is really great, and I'm sure that you're sick to hit of, of hearing me say that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this up because you, you've seen what it's got to offer. Uh, there isn't too much more to say about this. 
as ever with special editions it does come with a sort of a5 size uh, glossy booklet which you can read up a bit more about uh, subspace relay station 47 um, if you are so inclined you may find it's incorporated in a hero collector or eagle moss um, special offer sale or special offer day or whatever they're really doing an amazing job at the moment of of pulling me back time and time again to their website to see what they've got on on offer and they always have something on offer that i uh, i desperately need the swines uh and that's again if i'm brutally honest one of the reasons i went for this wasn't initially on my radar to get it revisited it when it was on special offer really looked at the detailing thought actually yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm gonna take a dabble on this one because it's not super expensive now um and i'm really pleased i'm really really pleased and i think you will be too of course you may think actually it doesn't scale it's not for me um it's it's made too small an appearance in in the series to to be worth my my while i think it only did turn up in one episode of the next generation i don't think it's been repurposed for or since unlike some of the uh models models that uh, star trek have used in the past um so yeah hopefully this video has given you an opportunity to really look um in a way that some of the still photos don't um at what this station looks like and it will give you an opportunity to make that decision for yourself so i'm really glad you got to spend the last uh, 16 or 17 odd minutes with me uh, having a look at this this model um, if you found it useful or in any way uh, interesting, please do uh, give me a juicy thumbs up. Um, similarly, if you want to see reviews of other Hero Collector and Eagle Moss products, they will be coming. There are some already on my on my channel, so you can have a sift through my playlists. But please do subscribe to the channel because that would be a real, real asset for me. Um, and also you could turn on notifications so that if this was useful for you, you never miss uh, another video equally if you want to see some of the toy photography that i involve these um these models and others in then you can follow me on the time traveling toy collector over on instagram and i would be so pleased and thrilled if you did that um, equally time traveling toy collector on facebook um, you can also find me there i hope this has been useful as i say you've been a fantastic uh, audience for the last 17 or so minutes I've been the Time Travelling Toy Collector. This has been the Hero Collector Subspace Relay Station 47 Special Edition model from their Star Trek Starships range. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. In the meantime, don't forget that a thing of beauty really is a toy forever. Thank you and bye-bye for now.